everybody, here is your Carmen VIP Power Coach of the Alps and back here in Basel. Why? Because I wanted to introduce you an amazing woman, which is so wow and I can... Let's just go directly. Lillian, welcome Lillian that you're here, part of my, of my serial. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lillian. Mm, jockey, I have to say jockey, <laughs> then you get it. And um, I come from Kenya originally and I live in Basel, mm -hmm. uh, near Basel. Near Actually, Basel, I live yeah. in Baselland. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Lillian is one of these women which uh, get got thankful you actually contacted me. We got in touch over Facebook because of this series you are just watching. And uh, she's an, a lady, an active lady, which is just following her voice, right? Yes, yes. yes Please yes. tell our audience, <laughs> what are you doing? So, first of all, I always start, I'm a mother, because that's my first project, mm -hmm. which I, yes. I think is, you know, uh, something I really love, being a mom, a single mother, who is very proud of mm -hmm. her two daughters. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, the second babies. It's mm -hmm. a Tell Your Story platform which I started. I founded this Tell Your Story platform because it was my story. Mm -hmm. Me telling my story and sharing to the world what I've gone through. And that's what I love doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is, which I just got out of nowhere mm -hmm. by sharing my story, is a life coach which people gave me that title because I've been helping so many people to expose and tell their life stories. And it is okay to have a story which has not been beautiful, mm -hmm. great, or which has really shaped your life into better, um, successful mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. or you're still stuck mm -hmm. into it, and it's okay to share so that we can all help each other. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's very fact-wise. We're gonna pick out some of the things <laughs> because certainly we had a beautiful talk for hours before we were ending up here having the interview. One of the things that imp impressed me a lot is, uh, you, you already named it, Tell Your Story, where you garner uh, people, just like you and me, you know, Mr. and Mrs. White together, in order them to tell the story for everybody who wants to hear it. Exactly, right? yes. So, uh, Tell Your Story started me telling my story. Mm -hmm me sharing every morning, waking up early in the morning because I have uh, dyslexic. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not now, I think it's gotten better. Mm -hmm. I, I taught how to write mm -hmm. myself because um, I did not know I, can, I couldn't write well. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I have my story and I knew there's something was telling me, you're gonna write, share mm -hmm. your story, share your story. You could, maybe somebody will be interested. I did not expect. It took me so long to overcome the fear of mm -hmm. writing about my stories. You know, that's exposing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I, I somehow I knew that's the way you heal. And since I've been writing always my mm -hmm. stuff, putting on the side, but writing to the people, to the public was hard. So in 2014, I started a blog on Facebook before Facebook was really exploding. And I would wake up and write mm -hmm. a story, uh, mm -hmm. just a part of my day routines mm -hmm. or what I've gone mm -hmm. through and give always uh, an advice at the end of that. And people start reading, people start liking, people start interacting, commenting, and all of a sudden I had like about mm -hmm. uh, six, seven hundred people following me. And some were even writing me in box mm -hmm. asking for advice. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. And I, I just became, you know, somebody who knew mm -hmm. or had the answers for their uh, questions. And it got more and more. And eventually I say, let's call it Tell Your Story platform. And so I... I, I form this um, platform and now I do seminars, live seminars and which are based in Basel. We have a, a, a venue, amazing venue in the middle of the city mm -hmm. which is perfect and we do it in English and German. I invite speakers and these speakers are just you and me, mm -hmm. somebody like you or me or the other person who feels uh, they are open enough mm -hmm. to tell their story to inspire somebody mm -hmm. and also I have book authors like you mm -hmm. which I want to invite you Thank soon you. Yeah. hope you can make it <laughs> this uh, month we have a tell yeah. your story mm -hmm. uh, uh, seminar it's actually I don't want to call it seminar so I just mm -hmm. story sharing and telling where people come we have upper row mm -hmm. and um, we have two different rooms one is English and one is German and we normally have four speakers 
and you know who come and just mm -hmm. share their stories and it's about success stories mm -hmm. at the end so coming out of mm -hmm. very very stressful situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and really managing it and mm -hmm. coming out mm -hmm. and and this is amazing how people don't know that they're not alone mm -hmm. when they are going through issues so the telling mm -hmm. story gives you the possibility to know it's okay you're not alone and don't 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 be embarrassed mm -hmm. to come and share because mm -hmm. we all have mm -hmm. uh, stories to mm -hmm. share and problems or mm -hmm. difficulties we go through. Like I, I just say in life, for me it's a pyramid. Mm -hmm. In the pyramid when it's not really nice, the sh all the shapes are standing, uh, they're shaped in nicely, the pyramid will mm -hmm. collapse or it won't stay or you can even see a circle but I use the pyramid mm -hmm. and that is health. It is health up here, mm -hmm. and one of the sides is mm -hmm. either relationship mm -hmm. or finance. Mm -hmm. So if these three components, I mean, you can you know break it down after mm -hmm. relationship with the kids or a spouse or whatever. But if these things are not really compound, you can't be happy. Mm -hmm. You can't be complete, mm -hmm. and that's what most of our issues mm -hmm. stories is about: mm -hmm. either relationship, mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. or finance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we sh we get ashamed about mm -hmm. it. You you feel oh my god they will judge mm -hmm. me. People are gonna say this mm -hmm. and that and I don't I'm alone. Then you get into the depression alone and you know it's it's just a platform where we are trying to to help mm -hmm. people to know you're not alone mm -hmm. and nobody is judging mm -hmm. you. We all understand each mm -hmm. other because we are all one. Mm -hmm. You suffer, I mm -hmm. suffer. You're happy, I'm happy, mm -hmm. and now the newest really I mean, a crazy disease at the moment or illness is depression mm -hmm. even children have depression and this is it's mm -hmm. really painful to mm -hmm. know I, mm -hmm. I'm, I've been a victim too mm -hmm. and that's why this has mm -hmm. helped me so much and that's why I am so into this platform like I love it mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. because I've seen mm -hmm. people who come how they they they, they start looking mm -hmm. and feeling great mm -hmm. this just mm -hmm. because they see wow mm -hmm. she made it I can do it too I mean if they hear somebody speak it's always like wow I can do it too so it's you know it's inspiring inspiring <laughs> do you feel it I mean do you feel this energy and this uh, <laughs> empowerment this this pure passion you are having and I really would like to say thank you that you're doing this especially in our social media sites it's so much anonymity and uh, therefore, again, I also want to thank you that you contacted me yes. and that you said, listen, Carmen, I like your interviews, I like your power, let's get together, let's do something together, yes. and here we are. And this is also something what you can do, so please feel encouraged by our example that uh, there is not only a face such as me or her, get together and try to combine passion yes. in order to get to, to create good and great subjects and projects such as you are having. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Lilian was also telling me something else before, in com you know, in connection with the Tell Your Story, the mm -hmm. African uh, project yes. you're having. So um, the other idea with Tell mm -hmm. Your Story, I last year, February, I went to Kenya and I took a team, uh, coaches, mm -hmm. and the idea was to bring um, this uh, mindset mm -hmm. kind of a change mm -hmm. to the millenniums those ones who are graduating from university, that age group, that's the, the target I want to reach out to. And the idea is to show them that after the, the your degree or whatever you major at, when you go out of universities or even colleges, mm -hmm. if you don't get a job, mm -hmm. try to really connect with yourself because only you can change your life in a better way or the, the, the negative way. I mean, you're always responsible for yourself. And this is the mindset which I would like to bring to Africa. So we went to Tell Your Story platform and we went to a few universities in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And the idea was to show them that you're fine where you are in Africa, especially now Kenya. Stay there, build it up, and try to get out of the box mm -hmm. of after study, I studied, I became a, I mean, I have a major as a doctor or a lawyer, an architect, and now they are an engineer and there are no jobs. Now, what am I going to do? That's it. No. Mm -hmm. Normally, when you really search within yourself or you really connect with who you are, you'll find out mm -hmm. what you're supposed to be doing. It could be still you could continue with what you majored or you start a business and maybe form a group of young people who are also graduates, mm -hmm. 
and create something mm -hmm. out of it. So the idea I want to bring with Tell Your Story is that everybody has their own story mm -hmm. and everybody has a blueprint, but we don't know because we are conditioned to believe in this mm -hmm. old mm -hmm. traditional way of studying mm -hmm. and when you mm -hmm. study, you become that. If you're not, you're mm -hmm. nobody. Mm -hmm. But actually we are all unique and we all have something. So it was really a beautiful thing we did and I want to continue doing that because I think when you change the way you see mm -hmm. things, the things you see, they change too. Or the way you see things change and you can become. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to bring the young people, you know, awareness mm -hmm. to. So Tell Your Story also supports mm -hmm. these kind of uh, projects and I really want to mm -hmm. implement that. Isn't that amazing? Wow, that's such a great project. Yeah. And it's really needed as well. It is very mm -hmm. much needed in, in the sense of young people, they think Europe mm -hmm. or Western, mm -hmm. it's wow, yes. it's paradise. People mm -hmm. are, you know, it's all about material, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's what they see, that's what the television shows them. And when we, okay, I call myself also Western, when we go back there, we have a certain way of dressing, looking, and it looks always like successful, mm -hmm. we are doing well, but it's not true. Mm -hmm. We all know it's not true. Mm -hmm. um, all over the world, there's always, you know, it's up and downs, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. it's economic, is up, mm -hmm. it's down, and we mm -hmm. all suffer. Here people mm -hmm. suffer too, they're working, they're not jobs, there's mm -hmm. so many things going on. But the African, most of them, they don't know that mm -hmm. that's how it is. And that's what I was also telling them. You don't have a chance mm -hmm. if you come there, not always. Mm -hmm. I mean, there may be a chance of one or two, but it's really not easy to start mm -hmm. a new life mm -hmm. when you come now to Europe, mm -hmm. hoping and thinking it's gonna be fine. Yeah. So my idea is really to want them to stay back there mm -hmm. and improve and, and, and create their own mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. paradise down mm -hmm. there because mm -hmm. Africa has it all. Mm -hmm. We have everything. Mm -hmm. We have everything. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and I'm, I'm very passionate about mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. Africa. I love it, but mm -hmm. um, I think we need to to be honest and say mm -hmm. it as it is. Mm -hmm. Stay home. Don't come. It's not always it's, like it looks. <laughs> uh, it's when, when I heard that I was I was so touched because uh, Lillian is really following up by by making sure that um, everybody knows that the purpose also we we know why we are born somewhere and to get out of your own culture is really already destruction it you 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 left uh, you came here when you were 19 right yes so, um, so 19 going to 20 and that was really difficult my mom moved mm -hmm. to europe to switzerland and she wanted me here and i also missed i wanted to come but for a visit mm -hmm. <laughs> and then i came and i stayed uh, because well i could not be alone back home it was not easy mm -hmm. and um, i could not speak the mm -hmm. language i did not finish my really properly what i was mm -hmm. studying i was um, I was. I wanted to be. This mm -hmm. um, of Deutsch Hotelfach. I wanted to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I'm in German. <laughs> That's so funny. Because she even speaks also very very good German. We also made an interview in German. So for those you know. <laughs> so it is like so, hotel. Uh, yeah. I even don't know exactly. Hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So and um, I was already working partly and and um, um, and studying. But I moved here, so you have to start from nowhere. You have no friends, live in a small village, mm -hmm. only two black people, my mm -hmm. mother and I, mm -hmm. and everybody knew us. Mm -hmm. And when people would look at me, I was like, why are they looking? Because mm -hmm. I grew up with the, yeah. all cultures. I went yeah. to um, Catholic schools, mm -hmm. and we have Indians, we had Arabs, we had white mm -hmm. people, Asian. So for me, I knew this is normal. So I, I never knew this mm -hmm. racism going on. I never even thought there is something mm -hmm. like that. So when people are watching me, I'm like, what is going on with me? Why are they looking at me? But it wasn't negative. It's just that I, we were new and they were checking on us. But it was really uh, lonely. And many other things followed after that. The language, the difficult to be part of uh, young people here because that age to go into a group was really tough. So I started work, doing jobs and studying German and learning how to speak mm -hmm. German. And these were not jobs mm -hmm. which I would have loved to do mm -hmm. because I mean, I, I came from like here, you say gymnasium and I could have even gone to university mm -hmm. if I could have mm -hmm. here, but I couldn't. So mm -hmm. I started doing jobs just to learn German and to just have a job. It's tough. It was tough. The five years was really hard, and this is why I wrote an ebook, which I'm still working on. <laughs> to but it's going to be published it. soon. Yes. Yeah, it and should. it's about my story, mm -hmm. a 19-year-old mm -hmm. coming to Europe, 
and try to communicate to my fellow Kenyans or Africans that it's not easy, it's not the way it looks like. So I have both worlds. And my thing is, I don't want them to come here and suffer because I've seen it, it's still happening. And Africans need to really understand that they have it all. It's beautiful, our continent is so amazing. We have everything and the mindset has to change. And then you see it, you know when mindset changes, you know that we meditate and we understand these things. You see things different and you see more than you ever knew there is. But this box, you know, we call it culture uh, escape. If you stay in that one box, you don't mm -hmm. see it outside, mm -hmm. then you're really limited mm -hmm. and that's the problem we have today. Mm -hmm. And people, I love Africa and I want Africa to grow and mm -hmm. that's why I also do these other projects. Uh, I did an African Expo um, event, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. really amazing mm -hmm. to show Africa how it is really because we are rich of mm -hmm. all the minerals, mm -hmm. uh, safari, that's why people come, the, the nature, the parks, everything, we have everything, let me say that way. And I did that expo, it was really beautiful and uh, just to showcase. Lillian is an extreme, great and beautiful example for exploring the potential, my dear, <laughs> out there. Absolute, no, look what it's I watch. Yes, yes, and that's, that's something what is all about, that every single one of us, of you, is getting out and explore its potential with using the talent and the strength what you as 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 you as Lilian really live very well it's a compliment on that you're doing a great <laughs> job thank you thank you yeah thank you. so so great mm -hmm. um for our audience do you have a special life motto you would like to share so um what i always say we all come with a blueprint Mm -hmm. you have a blueprint you know who you are deep down you know who you are and mm -hmm. that means you know what you can do better mm -hmm. and only you can do it mm -hmm. and you have a vision a dream mm -hmm. and there's a reason you have that vision and that dream mm -hmm. it's yours mm -hmm. and all what I always say just do it don't try to ask people what do you think about this should I start yeah. it because everybody has always an opinion and it's not their vision is not their dream they will tell you don't do it most of mm -hmm. them are scared mm -hmm. meaning well especially mm -hmm. the families sometimes mm -hmm. oh no you know don't do it it's a risk but there's a reason mm -hmm. these keep mm -hmm. you know coming showing up mm -hmm. in your in your dreams or in your vision in your head it's, you know reputation there there is a reason it's there so you're supposed to do it that's what we call life purpose and your life purpose is the gift the gift you have is what you can do mm -hmm. for the money or no money and when you do that you become successful mm -hmm. because it's coming from the heart and you anyhow can do it mm -hmm. easily because for you it's it's, mm -hmm. it's a given thing and that's who you are mm -hmm. and we women we have a lot of it I mean men too but I'm just like because we're women we want to support women this is the movement at the moment we are all in one pot as women and mm -hmm. uh, we have to support each other more because we have more potential mm -hmm. than we ever had before and we even never knew we did and that's why I'm supporting women too with the Tell Your Story platform, mm -hmm. we have a branch, mm -hmm. where a project, because mm -hmm. Tell Your Story has many projects which we are working on. And this project is for my heart mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's for mothers, mostly the single mothers, but all mothers are welcome. Because I was a single mother trying to uh, uh, start up businesses and it went so many times mm -hmm. wrong because mm -hmm. I invested not knowing, not being intelligent enough or, or researching enough, then I lost money and nothing happened. And it's, it's just been very, very hard. And my project now, I have a team where we wanna help ladies who know what they wanna do, moms, make it very, very uh, affordable. Mm -hmm. Or we find a way where they can pay slowly, installment wise. And it's about logos, you know, branding yourself. You need a very good logo. And then we have web page designers which are gonna work with you and help you to design a web page. And clips, mm -hmm. video clips to make you visible. Mm -hmm. Because today, visibility is everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's social media, mm -hmm. you need video mm -hmm. clips. And so I have that team. Mm -hmm. And already I have two ladies actually mm -hmm. who we are helping. Great. So, yeah, so to single moms. Yeah. So this is a project mm -hmm. that comes from my heart and mm -hmm. uh, I just love supporting women mm -hmm. because I think we have to start doing that mm -hmm. for each other 
um, and only that way we can grow. Mm-hmm. And start, instead of these trying to put each other down or trying to copy the other one, because as I say, you have your own gift mm-hmm. and your own life purpose, mm-hmm. and only you can do it. Yeah. Only you. Yeah. And sometimes don't share it. Just go do it. That's my motto, right? Just do it like Nike. Just mm-hmm. do it and share it when it's already out there. But don't mm-hmm. ask for advice because mm-hmm. you it's not going to be the mm-hmm. same. It's, mm-hmm. it's only you. I don't tell mm-hmm. people stuff I do mm-hmm. until I do yeah. it. Yeah. And I learned it. Yeah. I learned it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. So beautiful listening to you. And I'm so impressed and I hope so as you. And that actually is a very good bridge to the book which I have published exactly for the same purpose what Liliana is on. Uh, I would also like to encourage all women uh, in this world in order to make sure that you know about your unity, your, your, your personality, all your gifts and all the talents you're having. And therefore I have not just recently published a book, Lose to Explore Your Thoroughbred Woman in You, simply because it's something which Amazing. is needed. It's in now in English. So now it may explore even uh, outside of all the German speaking part. And by the way, it also had been recently published in Russian because Russian women is also something which had been required. So this is now the English version Thank I would you. like to give to you. Thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, because it is something which is a personal and you matter. You have everything in you. You have yeah. everything in you. Really, yeah, we do. We you. do. And that's why there's no war among women. We should not even no. fight. We no. should not be jealous. No. Which it doesn't no. make sense no. anymore. No. Really, we are so powerful yeah. when we connect. Yeah. And yeah. <sighs> absolute. Uh, I even consider Lillian to be my soul sister. We are kind of you. <laughs> yes, so beautiful. <laughs> and uh, you know. Instead of anger, instead of, of invite, envy, let's really connect. connect. Exactly, connect. Community. Community. This is our purpose as being a woman. This is our purpose as being mother, friendships, friends, sisters in general, aunts or whatever. Just human being. Yeah. That's what it is. That's, that's what it that's, is. It's simple at mm-hmm. the end of the day when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Because women, we've been conditioned to mm-hmm. fight it's a conditioning and we have to get out of that Mm -hmm. I can't be you you can't be me what we can do strong is when we connect and I support you bring the best out of you and when you're happy I'm happy so and and we all you know we have a lot of potential ladies yeah it's so passionate right yes (laughs) I'm like I love women Oh, no, and I think so it's a, it's a, we do all it's over the world, yeah. you know, when I think of us mm-hmm. back home in Africa, mm-hmm. it's just, mm-hmm. it's amazing what women have done mm-hmm. and still doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you see, there is a lot of power, there are many, many women out there who are all going for the same aim. Please feel invited to do the same already in your neighborhood, have a look around what person, what human being can actually fit as well into this belief. But overall, believe in yourself, in your strength, in your potential, and feel free to give to this uh, interview as well your feedback. You will find all the information about Lillian and all her wonderful projects just underneath. Feel free as well to share this interview. Yes. The more people it sees, the better and the more this beautiful message will spread around. Yes, yes. And in April now, this month, we are on April, yeah, Yeah. 25th, Mm -hmm. Tell Your Story platform, we'll have another seminar, Storytelling, Mm -hmm. you're all welcome, it's upper, 25 francs, why Mm -hmm. not show up? Yeah, that would be lovely, really. And networking, great networking. Great networking, yeah. And you will find yourself in a group of people who all want to have the same, just really harmony and learn from each other. Very, men and women, by the way. Yes, yeah. yes, very of course, nice. not only for women. <laughs> I love that, yeah, <laughs> it's everybody. Yes. Lillian, would you like to say your last uh, message? Yeah, so my last message to give you to everybody, men and women now, is that find who you are. Mm-hmm. And by I always stick mm-hmm. to that. My message is always the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are unique. Yeah. You are oh, special. Really. You are a brand. Mm-hmm. I love using the mm-hmm. word brand. Mm-hmm. Actually, we are talking about branding now. Mm-hmm. You are a brand. Everybody, everybody. Once I got that, I stop judging people. Mm-hmm. I just go my way, mm-hmm. do my thing, and support mm-hmm. others to become mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. and shine. Because you can never be me. I can never be you. Mm-hmm. 
that's why you're unique mm. go do your thing just yeah. do it just mm. do it and you'll be happy and successful i promise yeah. it's true wise words i just can really add up yeah just go for it don't wait because you're worth it yourself and keep in mind you know it's your life and every life has a counted number so oh, don't yes. waste it so just go for it Thank you again for being here with me. Thank Looking you. forward Thank to you. continue our friendship, yes. of course, and projects. Yes. Yes. You'll be speaking, tell your yeah, story soon. You know. Yes, <laughs> I'm so glad to be part yes. of it. Thank you yes. very much. Yeah. Yes, out there, was very, I'm very happy that you joined and that you listened to this beautiful interview, that you were interested in finding out about uh, Liliana and as well about the story what we're having here. Feel free to give your comments and I'm very much looking forward to hear more about you. But most, most, the most important thing I have to say is just, yeah, be yourself and be just yourself. go for it. Yeah. Can I say something? Yes. So, sorry, I forgot. If you <laughs> feel like you want to speak on Tell Your Story platform oh, and you've written also a book, we also yeah. take authors, but only on uh, human development. If you want to share your story, very good idea. You're very much welcome, and I tell you, it's a great networking yeah. and and a, a platform where you can open up yeah. and also share a story of a book you've written. Yeah. because life is just writing the best stories. Life is a story. Life is a story. Life is. You're a story. Story. I'm a story. Yeah. You're a story. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> that would be great meeting you in person. So feel free to follow up yeah, yeah. our invitation. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks again. So here from Basel, we are sending you greetings and best wishes, Carmen and Liana. Yeah. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>